Hi everyone, it's Eric Carter here, and today I'm going to show you how to get Need for Speed Most Wanted on the PlayStation Vita for free. Now, this is a totally legit way of getting the game, as there's nothing wrong about it, it's totally legal, in case anyone assumed that before they actually clicked this video. So, uh, yeah, all you gotta do is go into the PlayStation Store, which I've got loaded up right now, search for it, and what it'll say is free, as you can see right over there. So, that's all good, that is actually a free sort of like game for you to get, and it's the full game as you can see, no demo, nothing, nothing like that, it's totally free. Now, EA's Pete, uh, Peter Moore actually announced this uh, recently. Uh, he actually said that, starting from today, and I'm going to publish it for this video on today, the day where he actually announced it, uh, he said anyone can download Need for Speed Most Wanted on the PlayStation Vita, Mirror's Edge on the PlayStation 3 for free, and Plants vs. Zombies Garden Warfare for PlayStation 4 for free. So, Across uh, play Sony, sort of like three consoles, they're basically giving you one free game of theirs to sort of like download. That's great. <laughs> to say the truth, on the Vita, you get Need for Speed Most Wanted, which is great. On the pl on the, the uh, PlayStation 3, you get uh, Mirror's Edge, which is also great. Uh, Plants vs. Zombies Garden Warfare <laughs> doesn't seem as good a title to get for free on the PlayStation 4. But to say the truth, I think, I think everyone and their grandmother has Mirror's Edge on the, pl on the PS3 or some sort of console by now, so... Not too much of a problem, but this game I've actually wanted to get at some point, and now I've actually been holding off of getting it until the price drops down to about under £10. But, looks like I'm getting for free now, so I'm sort of happy about that. And just to show you that it works, this is currently downloading right now. I'm actually downloading it, as you'll be able to see right now. So, yes, I should already going through the download. So, what I'm going to do is actually just wait for it to finish downloading, and then I will come back to you and show you that the game actually works. Okay, I'm back, and to show you that the game has finished downloading, here you go. The application has been added to my home screen, and the installation has been complete. And this theme I'm currently using is the 20th anniversary one. This one that's supposed to look like a PS1 theme, uh, just because the PS the PlayStation is 20th anniversary, so I thought I'd put it in this video. Now, for your delectation, I've already had the game loaded and skipped all the extremely long uh, sort of like intro cutscene and everything. And let's go straight to the game, and let's start a race going. Well, I'll skip the race, actually. What I'm just going to do is just show you some gameplay, actually, instead. So, let's get the camera ready. And lower the volume so you can hear me enough. And let's have a quick look at the game. I can turn my studio lights off for this. So you should get a better look. And to tell you the truth, the graphics do look nice, but they look a bit pixelated and dotty, really, uh, on the screen. They look a bit muddy. I think they could have been smoothened out a bit. The graphics, on, apart from that, they look extremely nice. And... Nice. You don't see that in Asphalt Injection, do you? Where there's no animations to your crashes, basically. So, like, no damage to them. And i got to say that they... It does feel not the best sort of, like, driving mechanics I've played in the game. I love the shadowing techniques, as you can see right there. Overall, it's pretty decent. I think I'll have to get used to it. I haven't done any races yet. <laughs> that looks cool. But I look forward to actually giving the game a go. But to tell you the truth, I'm glad I didn't pay anywhere near as much money for it as, you know, its retail price, £15 or 30 quid or anything like that. I'm so happy I didn't have to pay that much. And, uh, yeah, I'm g not as impressed, though, as I thought I would be. But it's a free game, so I've got really nothing to c complain about. But what does startle me is the fact that I was actually considering spending my own money on this. So the fact that I'm not going to makes me happy. And I did have to delete The Walking Dead in order to have enough space on my 8GB memory card to, to actually run this game. And it looks like I'm getting used to the controls, actually. And I love the way you're like really getting so much speed right here. But anyway, guys, that's pretty much it. Thanks very much for watching this video. If you want to get uh, Mirror's Edge or the new Plants vs. Zombies or also this Need for Speed game for any of those PlayStation consoles, then you can definitely do so. And definitely do it within this next 24 hours because otherwise you will not be able to do it again and they'll be gone back to full price. So that's it. Thanks for watching again and I'll see all of you guys next time. Take care.